Hello everybody, happy Frog Friday. My name is Carly and today I have a horror book haul for you. I know I kind of stopped putting out videos the past few months, but one of the things I did not stop doing was buying books. So I've got a lot of books here that I have not updated you guys on. Most of them are used though, so I don't feel that bad about buying all of them. Um, yeah, let's just jump right into it and get started. So I will say there is a lot of Stephen King in this, but there's also a lot of other stuff. So even if you don't like King, you can always skip around a little bit. So the first book that I obviously have to mention is Holly by Stephen King. Um, I obviously just had to pick this up, you know. I still have yet to read it. I don't know why I haven't started it yet, but I'm all caught up on all the other books that Holly is in. So I'll probably read this pretty soon. Yeah, I've read the whole Mr. Mercedes trilogy, The Outsider, and If It Bleeds. So I am excited to get to this. I picked it up on the release day. Next up, since I already talked about Holly, is a box, this little box of used Stephen King. Um, I've also had these in the boxes and I haven't opened yet, so I kind of forgot what books I even ordered from them. So this is sort of a little unboxing because I've had them for a while because I didn't feel like filming so I just didn't take them out of the box. This one in particular kind of pissed me off though. It's my first bad eBay experience, okay? Be careful because uh, I received five books from the seller. As you can see, this is the box that I received. But when I placed my bid, I was bidding on a set of 33 books and I was only sent five of them. And I was trying to deal with eBay to get a refund or like a return or something. Nothing. They sided with the seller somehow. I'm not going to get into it any more than that, but I got scammed out of an extra... I can't even do math right now. 28 books. So, at least I like barely spent anything at all on it. Like nobody else ended up bidding on it. So it was like super low. It was like five, ten dollars or something total. So, it's whatever, but it was annoying. Anyways, let's see what is in here. So, we've got The Eyes of the Dragon. I have read this one. I like it. I don't have this copy yet, so it's cool. I don't particularly love this one, but it's whatever. And then we've got Dreamcatcher. I think this is my first copy of Dreamcatcher, so that's cool. Haven't read it yet. Uh, I know it's not very highly regarded, but uh, I don't know. For some reason, I feel like I'm going to like it, so excited to get to that, but it's not any time in the near future that I'll be reading it. Then I've got this copy, another beat-up copy of It. I am not a fan of how that clown looks. This is definitely not my favorite cover. Then there's Gerald's Game. Again, don't love these covers, and I do already have a couple copies of Gerald's Game in like a red cover, so it's whatever. And that one I have read, but not my favorite book. And I still need to read it, but I'll be planning on reading that pretty soon. And then Bag of Bones. Uh, I forget, I think this might be my first copy of Bag of Bones. Yeah, it doesn't look like I already own one, so. That was good. Uh, I think I specifically bought that for Bag of Bones and Dreamcatcher. And I think there were some other ones in the other 33 books that I wanted but didn't get. So, what can you do though? eBay decided to decide with the seller. I'm over it now though. It's been a few months. I guess I'll just do the rest of the King. So, I've got another box of King. If you don't care about him, just skip to the next section after this box is done. I'll put a little marker... What are they called? Bookmarks? Oh, yeah, I really forgot what's in this book. That one I could like see into kind of, but this one is, uh, well I hope I blurted out my address on the other one. Um, this one is like bagged up, so I really cannot see in here and I don't remember what I bought this for. I know two books that are in here, but the other ones I don't remember. Let's see. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So this is my first, this is probably the reason why I, this is one of the two reasons why I bought this book, or this box. Cujo. This is my first copy of Cujo. I like this cover quite a bit out of all the other 
options. I still really want like a hardcover of the brown or um, yeah, the brown one with like the dog on the front and then a black paperback with like the drooling mouth. I want both of those because I love Cujo, but this one's pretty cool too. Yeah, and I don't want a copy yet, so that's my first Cujo copy. And then I've got Desperation, which I have not yet read this or the regulators. Um, I think, yeah, I already have a copy of Desperation, so this is a little bit of a duplicate, but I like this cover better. And I think I still need to find a regulator's copy, though. Unless it's in this box, I don't remember. Also, sorry, but I don't remember how much I paid for this one. It's been a while. Another copy of Hearts in Atlantis. I have yet to read this one, but I'll be reading it kind of soon because I'm on my Dark Tower journey. And unfortunately, though, I already have a couple copies of this exact cover, so it'll either be selling it at some point or maybe putting it in a little free library. Next up, my favorite Dark Tower book so far, The Wastelands. Um, I do already have like three or four copies of this. Somehow every book lot has this in it. <laughs> so I don't need this one anymore, but I do love The Wastelands. So we got a couple more. Okay, another Green Mile with Tom Hanks on it. Again, I love the Green Mile. Don't really care for this cover. And I think I already have this exact same one. Yeah, I do. So I can get rid of this. Great book, though. And it looks like it just, there's a couple. There's a couple of the Green Mile um, serialized chapters in here. But it's not all six of them. Let's see which one we got. Part 1, 2, 3, and 6. So, I guess someone lost 4 and 5, I don't know. Uh, yeah, and some of them are kind of beat up, like this, uh, the first one. Look at that back cover. It's kind of beat up, but I already have. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah. I can't figure it out. It's like down there. It's over my shoulder, you definitely can't see, but uh, I do already have all six of them, so I don't need these. But I feel like it's going to be kind of hard to sell just four of them. Next up, we've got Tommyknockers. I already do have this exact copy, so I'll be getting rid of this one. But uh, I've yet to read the Tommyknockers. I've heard it is kind of batshit insane, so be curious to read that one. I know it was like his super coked up book. And then this is, other than Cujo, this is definitely the reason why I bought this for this edition of it. I really love this cover. I've got three copies now, but the other two are pretty ugly, and this one I really like. And it's in pretty decent condition. No rips or anything. This fine looks decent. So I'm happy about that. Um, then I've got... The Talisman. I think this is the only copy I have of this so far, and I actually just read this recently. was not a huge fan of it. I was kind of bored, but I at least have a copy of it now, so that's cool. And the last book in here, again, so that I could make this worth purchasing, I guess, Bachman Books. So I do have a couple of them I still need to sell. Uh, this one I might be keeping though instead of and selling the other ones because this one looks to be pretty good. Um, yeah, pretty good condition. I have read all the Bachman books already, so yeah. Well, all the ones in here. I've still not read Blaze or uh, Regulators of Desperation, whichever one it is that's a Bachman book. Or Thinner. I haven't read Thinner either. Alright, and that is all the King, so if you're just here for King, goodbye. That is it. I've got a few more books, though, if you are interested. So, still sticking to horror. Um, I visited, a few months ago, I visited my brother. I have an older brother, and he lives in the northeast up in Vermont. And he took me into this bookstore that he's got up there that's pretty cool. Tony used books. 
but also some new ones. So I saw these two books, the Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, and then more scary stories. And I don't know about you, but I read these as a kid. And so for nostalgic reasons, I decided, yes, I do need to buy that. They were like used copies, so they were pretty cheap. And the only thing is, I realized when I got home, give me one second. I guess they're slightly different, but I realized when I got home with these two that I actually had already bought these two at some point in my life that are the exact same. They're like slightly different, the size difference. The ones I bought in Vermont are a little bit smaller, but it's literally the same thing. So I obviously had the same uh, thought at some other point saying, oh, look at this. I remember those as a kid, let me buy them. And uh, yeah, so now I've got double copies of each of those accidentally bought it and then I decided to also buy two new books from there because I just wanted to support a small store and also some smaller authors so I picked up Zerk Berserk by Jessica Guess still have not read this one yet but I've heard good things about it um heard that it's a fun little theme park slasher so I bought that one new excited to get to that and then my other one was A Blackness Absolute by Caitlin Marceau. This is her newest release, I believe. Um, I honestly know nothing about this book. I have no idea what it's about. But I know that I really loved her other novella. This is where we talk things out. Really love that one. So I figured why not support her again and buy this one. And then relatively recently, I went to a library nearby me that I don't usually go to. It's not my like, closest one. And they had a ton of little books for sale just like based on donations. And I found three books there that I wanted, all vastly different books. So the first one is Gone by Michael Grant, which as a kid, this was like my favorite book ever. I loved it. So... As you know, when I talk about Under the Dome all the time, if you've seen my other videos, I think I love Under the Dome so much because of this book, because I was obsessed with this one as a kid. So, uh, yeah, they had this there and I figured, why not get my childhood favorite book so I have a copy of it. And then the next book I got from there was Harry Potter e El Prisionero de Azkaban. Azkaban? Prisoner of Azkaban in Spanish, this tiny little copy. Um, it's super small font. Oh wow, you really cannot see that. I do speak Spanish, kind of. I took it for like four years back in high school. Um, and I lived in Ecuador for four months. But I've always wanted to read a book in Spanish. And this is my favorite Harry Potter book. And it's a story I'm very familiar with already, so I figured why not just pick it up. And then the third one that I got from this library was... Into the Jungle by Erica Frensick. Fr Frenkick? Frensick, I'm assuming. Um, I don't really know what it's about, but you put a jungle on there, then I'll probably read it. A thriller in the jungle. I'm gonna buy it. Okay, that's all it takes for me, honestly. Okay, and then last but not least, I went to uh, Virginia recently to visit some family at a beach and there was a used bookstore there so I obviously had to go into it and I picked up three different books that are all nature related so first one I got was The Lost City of Z A Tale of Deadly Obsession in the Amazon by David Gran um yeah about like Amazon jungle type of stuff so I'm getting lost. I'm pretty sure this is like non-fiction. I think unless I'm just like being stupid but I, I think I think this is real. Yeah narrative non-fiction okay. Um, yeah all of these are non-fiction but again anything that has to do with a rainforest I am here for. And I've had this one on my TBR for a while so I figured why not get a copy. And then two more, we've got Wild by Cheryl Strayed. I believe this one is a memoir about a girl where she isn't, she in Appalachia, I think? No, Pacific Crest Trail. 
her hiking it alone, her experience doing that. And uh, I think that's pretty cool, so I want to read about this one as well. And then the last one I got is In a Sunburned Country by Bill Bryson, which is, take a guess about where this one is located. Give you two seconds, and okay, it's about Australia. And I will be moving to Australia in a few months, and I'm super excited, so... I've been wanting to read this one for a while. I think it's literally just nonfiction about some guy traveling around Australia. That is all the books that I've bought in the past few months. Uh, it's kind of a lot more than I thought it would be. My bad. Maybe I should stop buying books, but yeah. Anyways, if you're still subscribed, even though I haven't put out any videos in a few months, thank you for sticking around. Please just give this video a like, uh, and I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.